Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com here with the second generation Moto 360 from Motorola. Motorola actually let me customize it through Moto Maker, which I love doing, especially when it comes to a watch, something I'm going to wear on my body and everyone's going to see. You want to personalize it and make it something that looks good. I went with silver and cognac leather on the band. So I'm going to unbox it, give some impressions, compare it with the previous generation as well, throw it up side by side. So let's go ahead and open it up. Okay, pretty excited to open this guy up. This is actually the 42 millimeter face as opposed to the 46 millimeter face that I had the option of. I also want to point something out on the back. It says requires a uh, phone running Android 4.3 plus and also an iPhone with iOS 8.2 plus. So it's compatible with both Android and iOS. So pretty cool now. Let's open it up. So got some packaging around the circle here. Set that to the side. And let's go ahead and slide this open here we go here's the watch it looks really great to be honest there's a sticker over the front face obviously it's not the actual face so here is that uh, that watch but like I said you have a silver on it and then essentially the brown leather variant as well the leather feels genuine there's a sticker on the back actually and then let's try and get this top sticker off as well should be pretty easy and it is so there we go and that's it so let's go ahead and actually i'm gonna throw this on my wrist uh to give you an idea like i said this is the uh 42 millimeter variant all right so it goes on like a normal watch you'll see find whatever's most comfortable and then go ahead and pop slide both of them in make sure it's comfortable like that very secure and there it is so that's on i'm gonna actually press the power button which is up towards the top of the device now which i think is gonna make it a little bit easier to uh, actually press. So here we go, I'm gonna put this to the side, interesting little contraption right there that goes in, set that to the side, show you what else is in the box. Uh, looks like you got the, your uh, AC adapter that is connected, so it's not USB at all. It is uh, micro USB at the end though, in case you were wondering about that. And then here is the adapter, uh, the charging dock, I should say, which I actually really wanna open up, just so you guys can kinda take a look at it. Um, you'll see there's some slots down at the bottom there. It looks very similar to the previous version uh, that came with the previous Moto 360. Let's see if there's anything else in the box. Booklets, charge your watch, everything like that. So that's about it. And while this is booting up, let me actually grab the previous version. Okay, so here's both of them side by side. Of course, you see I got the gray leather on this one. So a little bit different, especially with the implementation of the band on the watch, you have some notches that come out as opposed to it being kind of going right through the bottom of the watch right there. This is actually 42 millimeters. So this one's actually a little bit larger as well. And you'll see that button placement's a little bit different. Okay, let's go through the setup, swipe on through, you pick a language, agree to Motorola privacy policy. Uh, just connect to watch as a power source. So it looks like the battery might be dying, which is okay. Um, I'm actually going to take it off. Okay, so here's just a closer look at the second generation Moto 360. You'll see that button has a bit of an M on it from Motorola right there, just very subtle. On the back here, you'll see Moto 360 stainless steel heart rate sensor, pedometer, and wireless charging as well. On the back, you'll see it says Horween Leather, which I believe is in Chicago, near where I live. And here's just a nice look at that very premium feeling leather. And this feels premium as well, the clip on the end. So that's just a close look at it. Let's go ahead and charge it. All right, so I plugged in that charging dock. Just gonna go ahead and drop the Moto 360 on it. And you'll see it's charging right away. Uh, to show you kind of how it works, you'll see down at the bottom those two little notches. When you slide it in, it actually is pretty secure because you'll see I can tr I'm trying to roll it out and it can't because it gets stuck and it goes down into those two notches. So pretty nice, pretty nifty. Um, it looks pretty good as well. So you see it says you're ready swipe to continue You got to connect to your watch to continue and I'll talk a lot more about it in my full review So that's pretty much just real quick the unboxing I want to do for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it um, Let me know if you get one what type of design you use as well Anyways, be sure to subscribe to my channel lots more coverage on the Moto 360 along with Android Wear coming very soon You can follow me on Facebook Twitter Google Plus all links in the description of the video below and as always guys Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it Oh,